All right, so I don't want to get into reruns or anything, but this is the same message from this morning from Brother Jesse. He's talking about uh, thoughts and controlling your thoughts as a Christian. Now, just because I see a picture of a naked woman, Brother Jesse, it don't mean I'm sinning. Okay. Why? We were naked in Eden. Right. Now, coveting, right, if Moses allows you to spill your seed by yourself, <laughs> mm -hmm. is not what masturbation is about, right? It's about controlling oneself until you find your spouse, right? That's how I was taught to look at it. <laughs> now, some say you got to control your members and they include that member. <laughs> but you can't supersede Moses. That's the Torah. That's the law. Mm -hmm. The law also allows you to have premarital sex with an unmarried woman or unbetrothed woman. Right. If you plan to get married. <laughs> Yes, it does. Yes, it does. If you read what Moses said about enticing the maid or a virgin right, or an alma, right? I know. <laughs> versus a betrothed woman, right? Or girl or whatever her age is, right? Now, some say Joseph was in his 30s and Mary was in her teens, right? Now, today that would be frowned upon, but back then it was normal, right? Like I said. Even Muhammad allowed nine-year-olds get engaged when he come out, right? Right or wrong, religion sometimes is to teach you boundaries anyway. Right. <laughs> now, the age of consent in Georgia is 16. Right. But it don't mean I'm going to try to date a 16-year-old or ask a 16-year-old to come over here and have sex with me. No. No. <laughs> but they can if they have a car, a way to do it. <laughs> They're not supposed to do it either. Either. <laughs> right. Right. <laughs> Unless they what? Want to marry me. Right. <laughs> it's kind of the point. Or they're having sex with me without intending to marry me, which is wrong on them. And then I have to forgive them. Right. Right. Because they don't know what they're doing. I don't know they did anything. I'm not saying they really did, but could. Right. Right. See the difference between... Did and could as did I lose any time around the girl, right? <laughs> that would say something might could have happened, right? So a lot of people are self-absorbed, right? The church is teaching a half-truth, right? When you teach a half-truth, you get half-Christians, right? Who don't know what they can do from what they don't do until they read the whole Bible, <laughs> More than what? <laughs> See, it's a Bible. <laughs> there are 66 books, <laughs> anywhere from one chapter to uh, 66. <laughs> the Psalms has 155 or 50, right? Somewhere in there, right? That's the longest book is Psalms, right? Technically, technically. <laughs> Not as far as duration either, right? But it's between Isaiah and Ezekiel that are the two longest books, right? And Jeremiah, right? Those are called the major prophets, right? I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> and then you have the minor prophets, right? <laughs> I don't know. So the Tanakh is the whole old, right? And guess where Paul taught them Jesus from? The old, the old. <laughs> you don't even know how Paul would teach the old because they didn't write that part down. <laughs> they talked about what he preached, but they didn't think to write it down for some reason. I don't know why. I guess they figured the oral tradition of the church, and uh, from at least till Rome got a hold of it. <laughs> Damn. And changed everything too, right? See, there is the idea of a male deity even in Judaism, right? 
But it's not said. God is also not a man, right? So you have a problem, right? Up with Jesus too, if you make him male. <laughs> There's a little loophole, and this is another problem, right? They were expecting him to be buzz, right? If he's buzz, right? They thought it would be someone like King David, a male, right? <laughs> Where well, they were also freak on Jesus if he was but three. That's why they crucified him as well. And, uh, now, the problem is an editor mm -hmm. is the one who determines what is written down or not. Right? Who's our editor, Peter? <laughs> Even with Paul. <laughs> and Paul's the one who says the male and female are running Christ Jesus, and you're denying that, right? Not Jesus, not Paul, you. you. <laughs> and John backs up Paul by saying Jesus had paps. Uh-oh, uh-oh. <laughs> That's what kind of seals it, the deal, right? Two witnesses, right? Okay, okay. <laughs> Declared Jesus wasn't man or woman, right? Right, he does, he does. <laughs> I don't have breasts, but a woman does, or a hermaphrodite. <laughs> they're real, they're real. They're medically a real thing, but they're like a unicorn. <laughs> What's the problem with a unicorn if you have a male and female unicorn ring? Right? With carnal men. <laughs> Why wouldn't the unicorn last till the flood or something? Right? If there was one. <laughs> It might predate the flood, <laughs> too, if there was one, if there was one, or two, or two, a male and female. <laughs> the thing is, though, mm -hmm. how do we know the unicorn even, right? Why do we think a horse would have a horn on its head, right? Was one put on a horse that didn't have one or something, and then someone thought it was real? I mean, come on, that's got to come from somewhere, right? They say all myth is based in reality, but the past, if something can go steep, and this is what I keep explaining to you, right, doesn't prove it didn't exist either, right? You just don't see one now. <laughs> it went extinct, right? See, that's another thing. If something made you and you all die out, <laughs> well, you're dead. You're dead. Everything, everything. <laughs> That's why we're created beings. I know. You wouldn't go extinct unless something made you. <laughs> and you didn't exist until it made you. <laughs> and therefore, you do not exist if you all die out. <laughs> Silly. <laughs> I'm schizophrenic and I knew that. <laughs> but you scientists can't figure that part out, huh, creature, right? You don't want to even admit you're a creature, but you have a design. You have fingernails. You have fingers. Right. <laughs> Blood vessels in the fingers, bone. Right. Are you a lump of K? <laughs> As if <laughs> formed into a human being <laughs> that didn't exist until you were put on this planet. Right. right. What does this planet serve as a home? <laughs> Temporarily, right. And there's a celestial home, right. And a terrestrial home. Could that be aliens or another realm, right? Another dimension, right? We kind of agree on that part. There are multiple dimensions. We call it celestial, and you call it a dimension, the fourth or whatever, fifth, right? <laughs> Sixth, seventh, eighth, up to eleven, right? <laughs> well, we got that too, I know. <laughs> Both Christians and scientists agree to a point... <laughs> But then disagree about how we were made. Right. You think we evolved from what? <laughs> you can't mate with a chimpanzee. Why? Mm -hmm. A chimpanzee. <laughs> but a chimpanzee, if it's made by God, can go a steep too if the last chimpanzee dies. Right. Whether it's male or female. Mm -hmm. If it don't have a mate, right, it can't reproduce itself. A clone needs an egg, right? Anything you're making that was already made, you didn't make it. <laughs> but something did you can't see, right? 
You don't want to get that, do you? <laughs> and that's why we talk about extinction of the unicorn, right? If someone saw one, right, and it was a real unicorn, right, there has to be at least two of them, you know. Right. Right. So, if one or both are killed, <laughs> And the horn is taken right. as a trophy. Mm -hmm. How many unicorns are left? Not none. <laughs> it will die, mm -hmm. whatever its lifespan is, right? And it's the last unicorn, right? There will be no more unicorns after it dies either, either. Like the dead bird. <laughs> Only reason we know the dead bird <laughs> went extinct. <laughs> Is it did it in front of us. But guess what? I don't know. Any creature that's made, including us, that we are 7 billion now, <laughs> can go at sea. All right. We die. No, you know. And that's a result of our sin with the evil one. Right. Why do we die? Because he died. Right. He went down into the grave, a watery one, according to Ezekiel 31. <laughs> Right. See, someone don't want to get it, right? <laughs> so it's still being got, right? <laughs> too, too, right. <laughs> but that's okay. That's okay. <laughs> well, I'm figuring out when I want to go for a walk. <laughs> right. It's only 4.30 now. It's Sunday. It's church day. Right? <laughs> and the only shows on tonight are football. Mm-hmm. Big Brother, mm -hmm. some PBS programming, right? Fox has a new series coming out called Monarch, right? About a female, mm -hmm. with you. So we got football. Mm -hmm. There's football on till about seven thirty with CBS. She's at, Car at Cardinals, right? <laughs> And Elizabeth Gold, wherever she is, I don't know. <laughs> the Bowens, which are the skin of this family. <laughs> Guilt on Masterpiece, that's from 21, 2021, October 12th, right? The Buccaneers at Cowboys on NBC. So, 60 Minutes, Big Brother, mm -hmm. Equalizer's a rerun, NCIS is a rerun from April in April. Mm -hmm. So, I got several church channels. Yeah. One of them is 15 and then about 265 to certain... Uh, 250 something. So Shakespeare and Hathaway on South Carolina PBS, right? Now one's Georgia, one's South Carolina. And they also have on similar shows tonight, right? Except one has Shakespeare and Hathaway, right? From 2019, February 27th. Right? And two queens, two enemies, right? Probably about Mary and Catherine, right? Elizabeth's verse, right? Yep, there you go. Mm -hmm. mm. Uh. Right, right. Elizabeth Gold, right? It's called, right? That's from March. 10th, 2020, right? And March 11th. And guilt, right? And Lucy Warnsley investigates the madness of King George, right? <sighs> so, the 